Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, and it's an interesting one today. Um, we're looking at generating dummy data in Python with the Faker package. Now, this is interesting for me because I can see a lot of scenarios and I'm sure a lot of other people in the data space will as well. If you want to generate dummy data for databases, for testing, for training models, and, and much more instances, uh, this is a really beneficial and simple to use package. So I'm looking through the documentation here in faker.readthedocs.io. We're actually going to go through um, a lot of this within the practical use cases I'm going to take us through shortly um, within my development environment. But there's, yeah, it's, it's helpful for you to browse through here. There's a lot of specifics here and things like localization, languages, command line usage, installation's pretty simple, you know, pip install faker. Um, I, but what I would say that is beneficial in this documentation, um, the, the, the official faker documentation, is when you get to the bottom, you get a list of these standard providers. So for example, here, automotive. Um, this will tell you exactly how to display fake license plates. So some of the more specific um, things other than, you know, just standard names and such will be here. So I've chosen to go through this in Google Colab because it's more friendly um, development environment. You can get it from the web address colab.research.google.com or type Google Colab, Google Collaboratory within the Google search engine and you will find it. It means that, yeah, if you don't have a huge experience in Python, um, but an interesting data, you can follow along. So the pip install, the just the Python installation process may be different in Colab where you have an exclamation mark. You won't usually need that. Now, in this second cell, I'm running the fake.name. And that's fine. It comes up with a random name every time as we'd expect. But like we saw in the documentation, you can actually set a seed, which means if someone else uses this seed um, with the same module, they will get the same results. So it's really helpful for, you know, working together or reproducing results or testing. Now let's look at some basic faker example. We've got, we want to print a name, address and sample text. Now this is easily achieved by fake.name, fake.address and fake.text. And we can even go ahead and limit the text to 250 characters or however many you want. Now, this would be very helpful if you were populating dummy databases and you had a constraint or you were concerned about memory, and um, this would help you. And it's really good to tailor it to specific examples. You notice I have this F in front. Well, that just is a standard way of showing the data where we can append on the actual sort of data header um, and not have to worry about um, displaying those curly braces. Now, we've seen ways to display male and female name, that's great, but maybe we want to be a bit more efficient and generate more results. So we can use a for loop and range, uh, so it doesn't need to be five, that's just our stop value or the range of values we want. Um, and we can go ahead and display five fake jobs. But if we were just populating fake jobs, for example, we probably don't need that F um, and the curly braces. We can just say fake.job and the parenthesis and we get random results for dummy jobs. So it's important to bear in mind, we don't always need to type things out in that syntax. Now again, I've got a for loop with 10, we're gonna want 10 different um, instances of this whole piece here. Think of this as a manual profile. We're printing the, the name, the address, a random integer for the age between 18 and 80 because our company only employs from that ages. Let's say we've got a job, a car license, a currency, a cryptocurrency, and you'll notice at the end for each instance, I just print some dashed lines to segregate it. So if you were really specific about what you wanted to fill your database or so on, um, this would be a good way to do it. And it's pretty simple. Um, and you could obviously print many, many, many um, dummy values, but we could just use fake.simple underscore profile and the parenthesis. And this just gives us a simple profile um, from within the faker package, um, if we're not too concerned about the actual data that we have. We can import an install dumper and use it with the faker package um, in order to give us a, a cleaner and more coherent data structure. And we can, just for this example, for this showcase, we've got three options. Option one is a simple profile. Option two, displaying a simple profile, but we've got the argument of a male sex. And option three, a more standard profile with a bit more variation and we've um, given the argument that the sex needs to be female. 
So it's a good way to show you how we can build on the previous concepts. And this is handy if we want just generic dummy data. A lot of the times you'll want more specific, especially if you're sort of testing out a database. And in that case, we could use the, um, the more manual profile that I showed earlier, where we use a bit more variation um, in the data we want to generate. Then you could go on and use things like um, the CSV module to write this out and export it. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share.